what and how the officials decided with the figure. The 58th Congress of the International Skating Union, which made serious changes to the rules of figure skating, has ended in Fuka, Thailand. 1. Russia was admitted to the Congress, but the suspension of its athletes was extended before the Congress, delegates voted against depriving Russia and Belarus of the right to participate in the Congress on the proposal of Ukraine. Ukrainians needed to get two-thirds of the votes of the Congress, but they only got to 45 percent. However, this did not make a significant breakthrough in the return of Russian athletes. Moreover, the extension of the suspension of athletes took place without a vote with the tacit consent of Congress. It is clear that the Congress rarely challenges the decisions of the ISU Council, namely, the Council has suspended Russians and Belarusians. But it's a little surprising, the delegates were simply asked if there were any questions or objections to the communiques adopted recently, and the Russian delegation did not even try to express a special opinion. 2. The age limit has been raised starting from the 2023-24 season, it will be possible to perform in adult skating from the age of 16, from the 2024-25 season, from the age of 17. Before that, the minimum age was 15 years old. Who benefits from it, allegedly, the athletes themselves, who will be able to prolong their careers. Of course, it is beneficial to the rivals of Russian singles. But at the same time it hits the world pair skating, where many partners have young partners. 3. Reduced a number of components from 5 to 3, removed the binding elements traditionally, the assessment in figure skating was divided into technique, the cost of jumps, tracks, rotations plus marks for their performance, and components, skating skills, connecting elements, presentation, interpretation of music, composition. Now there will be three components, the presentation and interpretation of music are combined into a presentation, and the connecting elements are simply thrown away. Who benefits from it? Those who have poor command of ligaments, it is logical, and among those there are Russian figure skaters, for example, Alexandra Trusova. But the reform is explained by the fact that it will be easier for judges to follow the competitions and not be sprayed on many characteristics, the quality of judging will increase. We will observe. 4. The system with the division of judges into technical and component panels agreed to test at the same time, the ISU is trying to divide judges into separate judging techniques and components. This, they say, will also improve the quality of judging and make the grades for the components not so identical. However, for now, after a heated discussion, it was decided to test the system before its introduction. The initiative is sound, but entails a lot of costs, mostly financial, more judges, you need to prepare new computer programs, look for places on the ice rinks to accommodate everyone. 5. A Korean was elected president, and a Canadian became the main figure skater instead of a Russian-Korean JL Kim became the new head of the ISU. He is the son-in-law of the chairman of Samsung Group. According to our experts, this is not the best choice for figure skating. In Korea, speed skating is more popular, and ISU for a Korean is a springboard to the International Olympic Committee. Canadian Benoit Lavoie takes the place of Alexander Lakernik, who has been leading the figure skating branch for a long time. This is also not the best option, Canadians have historically been one of Russia's main opponents in figure skating. The amendment to raise the maximum permissible age in leadership positions could have helped keep Lakernik in office, but it did not pass who benefits from it. Definitely not Russia and not figure skating. 6. Did not accept the amendment on the exclusion of federations on the basis of force major. Among the urgent proposals proposed to Congress by the ISU Council was an amendment on the admissibility of the exclusion of national federations or the application of other sanctions based on extraordinary events. For example, if the country represented by this federation contributed to the war, acts of terrorism, and even a pandemic. The de facto amendment legalized the restriction of Russia's rights after the events in Ukraine. But most of the Congress delegates did not dare to open this Pandora's box. Who benefits from it? Non-acceptance is beneficial primarily to Russia. Although, if desired, it would be possible to find many countries participating in extraordinary events, from Turkey and France to the United States and Great Britain. 7. 
A qualification round has been added to the World Championship starting from the 2024-25 season, there will be a qualification round at the World Championships. 30 men and women will skate the free skate in qualifying, the top 12 will join the 24 who will get into the main round directly. Couples will have 8 best out of 16 to the already selected 16, in the dance 10 out of 20, who will join another 20 finalists. Who benefits from this, small federations that would like to get representation at the World Championships. In almost all individual sports, the selection criteria are simpler, and in skiing we see representatives of exotic Venezuela or Nepal. In figure skating, because of the high demands, it was almost impossible. 8. Cascades and sequences were equalized, the sequence was previously considered a simpler action than the cascade in the sequence, the skater performs an axle after one of the jumps, and the pause between the two jumps is longer. During this time, the complexity of the element was reduced by 20%. Now the reduction is removed. Who benefits from it? Those who have already performed them, who have a good command of axle, or who need a greater variety of content. For example, Elizabeth Tiktamashiva or Yuzuru Hanyu. 9. Remove the permissible corridor of assessments for judges one of the most controversial decisions of Congress. Previously, each of the judges who gave grades ideally had to fit into a certain corridor relative to the average grade. Now such restrictions are removed. On the one hand, this will give a freer expression of the will of the judges, they will not be afraid to put like everyone else. On the other hand, if earlier the national preferences of judges could be proved mathematically, now this barrier is removed, and the criteria become blurred. 10. Transitions between countries did not complicate Russia proposed to tighten the rules of transitions between countries by introducing quarantine for participants of national championships, not just international competitions. Congress rejected the proposal. Who benefits from it? Countries that live by breeding from other national teams, and there are many of them Georgia, Hungary, Poland, Azerbaijan and so on. All of them engage Russian figure skaters in their ranks. At the same time, the bench of Russia is now so long that it is not quite logical to put sticks in the wheels of the participants of the Russian championship, among whom there are many middle-class and figure skaters from the regions.